Good morning, everyone. My name is Peter Evanson, and I'm the CEO of TK Corporation. And it's a pleasure to be back here after four years, and I congratulate North Shipping on its 50th anniversary. When I was asked to come and talk about borderless technology and projecting a company across the borders, it actually is one of the key things I think about in leading TK Corporation. And it really, for us, comes down to spirit, partnering, and technology. And if we can do those three things right, then we'll be successful. And this is our newest big project, the Petriol Knar, which is going on to the Knar oil field in um, offshore Norway. And so at TK, we believe, as, I, as you heard in the preamble, that it's our people and spirit that is the biggest guidance. And then we work with strategic partners, and then finally it results in greater services, projects, and technologies. And TK, unlike other companies, is a transnational company. When you think about Mercedes, it's a German company. When you think about Stott Oil, it's a Norwegian company. When you think about General Motors, it's an American company. TK, with its roots, is a transnational company. We were founded by a, a Dane who moved to um, uh, California, started TK, and then we moved to Vancouver. And today we're incorporated in the Marshall Islands with a corporate headquarters in Bermuda with an operational headquarters in Canada. And more people employed in Norway than any other country. So we're really transnational and that's how we think about it. And in moving this company from being tankers into gas into offshore, what was crucial about it was that we could project ourselves all around the globe with the 6,900 employees from over 40 different countries that we have. And so you can't grow as we've been able to grow in the last 10 years from $2 billion to $12 billion on our way to $16 billion unless you had those growth drivers in place. And for us, it starts with what we call spirit. That's the people that, the passion that go all around the world. And TK really started with the idea that we should take technology from other places and project it around the world. And Norway has been very important to us in that regard. So what we've done is we've made key acquisitions here and used those acquisitions to grow. And that has been the bit, one of the biggest was when we purchased Navion from Stott Oil, shuttle tankers, and we moved them to uh, uh, Brazil. And as I'll talk about later, we just announced a new project uh, to move them to Canada. And we can't do that unless we have partners. And then finally, we have to project the technology because TK is at its heart a small company. And so our people that we have, we insist on having transnational crews. In other words, we don't have crews that are solely Norwegian or solely uh, Indian or so, uh, solely Filipinos. We, we believe by mixing the crews, we will get a better workforce. And when we have that, then we're able to operate more efficiently. And that's how we also staff all of our offices around the world. And so... It starts with being able to project those values. If we can project our values, which we personify in spirit, then that means we can grow faster as we go all around the world. And it starts, of course, with safety, which is the most important uh, value attribute that we have at TK. But it's the passion that our employees have all around the world and linking them as we'll hopefully talk about in the panel session, that is going to drive the productivity and the efficiency that we have. And so it's the people, as I said, that are the most important thing. Because after all, we're a service business. But TK has moved from being a tanker company into LPG, into LNG, into five different sectors of offshore, purely because we have strategic partners. And so in Brazil, we have a local partner, Odebrecht. In Qatar, we have a local partner, Rasgas and Nakalat. And uh, in our new LNG, we have partners with Marubeni and China LNG. And of course, Norway, we've done a great job of uh, partnering all around, and both through acquisition as well as through partnering. And I would be remiss if I didn't talk about other partnerships and what if if we're going to become more efficient, it's going to be because the level of collaboration is going to increase, not decrease. 
And so we have a lot of financial partners that follow us all around the world. And that's increasingly an important part if we're going to continue the capital investment that you heard about in the previous session. And so that takes us to the services, the projects, and the technologies. And so for us, floating production, it really became when we purchased TK Petriol, which is our assets up in Trondheim. And that has enabled us to project. What TK did to Petriol was we brought new talent, we brought new capital, and a company that hadn't uh, been able to produce a new FPSO in 10 years suddenly went from four to a, on its way to 12 FPSOs, with the newest, of course, being the Petriol Canar. And we also brought talents in heavy oil. And then we went down to Arendal and purchased Savan, where we have a controlling interest, and that gave us this new Savan design, which has been critical. But the big part was to take the FPSO technologies that we had in the North Sea and project them to Brazil. Again, more borderless moving. And here, we didn't leave the North Sea, but uh, is one of our new projects. And here, we took a shuttle tanker, and we used Norwegian design and technology. We built it in Korea. It was 20 years as a shuttle tanker, and now we're taking it to Singapore and going to convert it to a floating storage unit. So uh, again, we don't have to scrap the ship. It can live another 10 to 15 years as a floating storage unit for Stato on the Gina Krog field here in the North Sea. And so the ability to move across borders is a critical element in driving efficiency. But this was a great day when we pulled three shuttle tankers in for a naming ceremony in Stavanger Harbor. And what it shows you is you actually, with tugs, had need dynamic positioning to get these ships in and out of where you are. But again, we used the design and technology. We built these ships in, in Korea. And then we were able to take and extend this franchise from North Sea, where, all, where the technology was truly pioneered to Brazil, and then this week we announced that we're going to build three new shuttle tankers and we're going to take over the operations in East Coast Canada. So the ability to take technology and project it to other areas actually results in much safer operations, and we should always remember that. Again, we took what, what is wonderful about uh, Norway is it has a lot of different technologies in smaller units. Here we used Remora, where we have a high load technology, and we're taking that down to Brazil, which is a growing area of uh, oil production, and they need ways to export it that just aren't shuttle technology. So again, this is the chance to take technology and project it across borders, using TK operations, using all the technologies we have with dynamic positioning. So our staff in Stavanger is doing that one. And then, as I mentioned, we have a controlling interest in Savan, and here's our newest unit that's going down into Brazil. So the Savan technology we took originally for, as an FPSO, but then it had great uh, uh, sea keeping features, and so it's perfect as a floating accommodation unit, or as uh, Petrobras prefers that we call it, a unit for maintenance and safety. And here we took Norwegian Savan technology, built it in China, uh, uh, shipped it to uh, Brazil, and it's now getting uh, hooked up uh, down there, and it will start a profitable uh, uh, life as uh, helping maintain the oil fields uh, down in uh, Brazil. And then another instance of technology, we took Ulstein technology, and we were able to build in a Japanese yard, and this takes us into long-distance towing. So again, we used Dutch technology, because that's where we run this operation from. We're building in uh, Japan, and this is a whole new class of long-distance towing. When you think about the bigger units that are going to be fabricated, in order to cut costs in this low oil price environment, there's going to be greater fabrication in shipyards. And ships like the uh, Shell Prelude, 500 meters long, there isn't anything you can put on a dry tow, so it needs units like this going forward. But it's our ability to do that that is important. And the Yamal project, probably very interesting because what you see here is it's a joint venture between Russian, French, and Chinese oil companies. We partnered with China LNG, and we're going to take LNG and move it in ice-breaking LNGs 
Six months a, a, a year, it'll go direct around to China, and uh, the rest of the time, it'll go and get transshipped onto conventional LNG and be sold around. So this is a very interesting instance of a, lot, of a collaboration that is so important, and TK is proud to be part of that project. So when you put it all together, the growth and crossing borders comes down to just three things, the spirit, the partnering mentality, and the technology. Thank you very much.